Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to review Numeri, NMR token. Uh, for those who are new to my channel, what I do is I do research. I feed the research into a model. You know, these, this is research of individual projects. I feed them into a model. The model has an output. I weigh the output to reality. I reflect and modify that um, model's output. And then I modify the model to better correlate to the best ROI I can find in the cryptocurrency space. This is the model. The project is Numerai, and I'm going to get right into it. So this is the project Numerai from a um, chart, like a, like a, a graph, to try to like uh, make it simple to understand the project. So Numerai right here, it uses Erasure, which is on Ethereum, smart contract, and it has these several different uh, aspects about it. Um, you know, and what this is, is this is basically what the project looks like. What it aims to do is service customers um, in the AI space, which are trying to make the best predictions about markets, right? So, you know, the, the Razor Bay is a way to pay people for knowledge. I didn't notice much activity in the usage of that, so that's the most I'll go into that one. Um, but there was stock predictions for the Numerai signals, that's a product, as well as the Numerai tournament, which is one of the mechanisms that um, Numerai uses to generate these Numerai signals, which is basically using AI models or statistical, statistical analysis or, you know, basically mathematics, complex math mathematics, neural nets, etc., to make the best predictions about markets, price movements, etc., and that's basically the gist of how this uh, product, this fund, it is a fund, is managed and, 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 and makes decisions, etc. So Numerai is a token, and it's, it's the basis of how all this is accomplished. It's used to pay these different providers. Um, you know, the, the customers are going to be people who want to access the fund or deposit to the fund. And um, basically, they you know trade equities on aggregated data science. Um, now, one thing I want to say is for those who are my technical analysis friends, if you're a human being and you are just at analyzing chart data from looking at charts, you got to – I think TA is useless, especially if you're competing against Numerai. Numerai is going to have all the – think about how many individuals have data science – have artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is going to do way better at uh, technical analysis than any human. That's why I would say to any human, if you want to take the technical analysis approach, you're not going to have much luck, especially if you're competing against something like this, right? That's why I don't take that approach. I think it would be very difficult like, to compete against something that's using advanced tools like this. Try to consider that if that is your approach. But I'll, that's the most I'll say there. This is basically a technical analysis um, company um, which makes decisions uh, with advanced in neural nets, etc., where the different neural nets compete with each other and the winners get paid NMR. Now, the losers of this NMR uh, tournament end up getting their stake burned, and that, that is a mechanism that may lead to price appreciation of this token. That's where the potential for the NMR token to do well comes from. What you are um, uh, betting on here is that um, uh, what you're betting on is that the more models that will be submitted to this is the probability that more NMR will be burned, and that's where you can get some price appreciation or more people. So the more if more models come online, this token could do that well, and that's what you're really betting on here. So that's that's the gist of it. One more time to summarize what Numerai is. It has this smart contract on Ethereum and it has these tournaments and these tournaments are where individuals um, submit their models so that they can get paid and they get paid if they win, if they do really well, and then they lose money if they do bad. And that's basically the super, super simple gist, uh, gist of it. So um, this is the investment process. You get regular regularized data, the modeling, um, is fed into it, fed into it. You submit your stakes, stake weighted um, comparisons, portfolio construction based on those, and you generate portfolio returns. It shows that this is working. Their approach is working because um, in the last year, Numerai has produced twenty eight percent. The uh, other market index of equity, um, Aurium Quant Equity, right. So that this is a roughly a thirty percent divergence, thirty percent, uh, roughly uh, 
divergence that's quite um, well for a year. So it shows that their approach is working. So yes, this project is, is working. All right, so that was the summary. Now we're going to get into Nomurai token and whether we think we're running it through my model, it should uh, experience price returns. Remember, nothing here is financial advice. All right, so um, neutral output for future in demand demand for token, price FOMO, neutral response from the model. Um, the roadmap was a neutral because there wasn't one for 2022, couldn't find one. Um, but this project was found in 2015, so a lot of its build out has already been completed. Um, regarding whether this is a, a project held by weak hands or not, um, composition time held, this is a good thing, is 88% are long-term holders, so 88% 80, of the token holders are long-term right now. That's good. As far as um, in and out of the money, 60% uh, roughly are out of the money, which means 60% are 60% uh, uh, of the holders are uh, negative in the red and 40% uh, are in the green. So, you know, the more in the red it goes, the less likely we can experience further downside because, you know, I mean, that's just one out. Like if people are sitting on heavy profits, that's going to be weaker hands. So I put like the hands should be pretty green on this. Um, and you can see that over time, the um, long-term holders is growing. That's another good thing. That's a good thing for price action if we um, expect that to be the case. So we can see it's making this migration over time to long-term holders, which is what we would want to see. All right. Um, so regarding some more neutral things, the inflation rate doesn't look too good because, you know, the distribution of the tokens, money needed to move the market decreases. So these are just neutral price action things right here. Um, all right, so because a token, uh, the, the tournaments have a token burn mechanism, they have a, a fees that burn a token, I put that it might move to a dividend irrelevancy, which means that this thing will have a P to E based on loser ratios in the tournaments. So that could be something that could means the token is tied to the usage of the platform. So that's a good thing that we'd like to see. Um, regarding the market cap, this is a 90 million um, circulating size market cap diluted to 162 million. The price is $14 at the making of this video. Recent price action is good because uh, we're like Numerar is down 66% compared to the average alt, which is 58. So it's not too far um, out of the. It's not too far out of the average there. And it's not in any kind of hype cycle. It's not experiencing hype. And that's when you want to really buy a project is when there's no hype. And it's kind of like, you can see my, my drawing here. This is, you know, the time that we're at, literally. I drew this, this is some, this, this drawing is two years old. And it shows the spot that you want to buy something. Well, guess what? A lot of cryptos, a lot of cryptos look like this right now. And this is the pattern I've noticed from being in my experience in the space of eight years. This is the pattern you when you want to buy, when something's gone through its hype and it's flatlined. Because if it's a project that survives and continues to deliver, this is what the chart looks like eventually. And you don't even notice this uh, jump. And that's where a lot of wealth could happen in the future. Nothing here is financial advice. All right. Um, so... All right, token used for governance, or, you know, it's not used for governance. The token is used for token burns, which means that, you know, whatever the amount of uh, models that are submitted to the platform, that's where we would see more burns. The token is uh, staked in order to make those submissions, so that's where we would look to see appreciation. The buyers of this token, in essence, are those who are uh, submitting models and who are in that, those uh, tournaments. The AI patterns in the stock market... Uh, so what is this, in essence, like the market size of this? It's AI pattern recognition of asset price movements, and that could be a pretty large market. Um, the, the team members in this um, project are Richard Crabb and Dan Spencer, former BlackRock portfolio manager, managing $50 billion plus, And this guy has managed billions of dollars before. So the team is very experienced, right? Um there the you know and uh you know they're wealthy people and they got a record etc so i put a pretty high score for the team members on this they got major backers and they got major experience so this team is a is a high level team an a-list team uh they do have strategic backers such as peter diamandis howard morgan and you know uh pantera capital um so they have some good backers regarding the governance structure of this the token is not titled to any governance controls it is basically a centralized managed entity this um uh, 
project is centralized in that the team runs it. And if the team walks away, which they probably won't, it's just, it's just like a core company. This, this token a pre, um, gets access to the growth um, of this fund in models submitted, but the token itself has no governance entitlement. Um, so the... The project requires the team to keep running it. And so that's basically the design of this. So it's a centralized running of, a mo of this model, but it consults with the AI models and, and, and makes the best decisions with the AI models that are submitted in its tournaments. Um, so all of these other uh, metrics, such as developer metrics and the value of the predictions, etc., cetera, um, and big business models, whether the big business models will want to hold a token. Well, if there's business models that submit a artificial intelligence, then yes, you, you can expect business models to do that. So these are all things that would be um, lead me to think that the token uh, could do well from those. The things that do not look good are I don't see this project having a good moat because what's to stop these artificial intelligence in, um, creators from going to whoever pays them the best for their artificial intelligence models? Well, there's a bunch of projects like Numerai who pay people for their artificial intelligence. And so they're going to go where the ROI is the best or even maybe go to the competitor and to this company. So there's nothing really to tie them in there as well as the flywheel effect doesn't look very strong there. And, you know, if you've read Peter Thiel's books, that can be potentially negative. So these are all things that led to this neutral price expectation from this model because of the design there uh, of the project not being able to create a strong moat. Um, some of the um, components that look good to me are, um, you know, like there is exponential growth, again, 5,000 models. Hey, that's a lot of AI models that have been submitted. Liquidity depth actually looks pretty good. That means it's trading at a pretty good uh, liquidity depth. Um, and, you know, it is servicing a niche now. So those are some positive things for the project as well. All right, so final summary. Um, pros, AI field, which is going to grow massively. I think AI is going to change the nature of humanity. It's going to be huge. It's going to be big. It's going to be, for, you know, like this, we're talking about something that could change quadrillions, right? Um, uh, this is going to change everything. So AI field, that's great. Huge, mo massive model. Um, great for returns for the fund. Um, yeah, the fund is, it shows that the product works, right? That's another pro. It's they have a working product and the product is excellent and they have an excellent team. The cons there's few, the the control the, you know the token doesn't is kind of like a byproduct here, um it it does experience some of the uh, appreciation of activity but you know it has few it doesn't have any controls or governance controls this is centralized centrally managed right this this entity this this fund is centrally managed this isn't by, written by code this is individuals running this they're using the AI models and comparing them. And uh, yeah, so that's the gist there. Um, there's no protection from market migration. Like, so like who, you're not going to get stuck in the system. You're not, if I'm a business model and I build an AI, I'm not building it into the code onto this platform to where it's kind of stuck there and sticky. So there might not be a moat, that no moat mechanism. And uh, that's, you know, that's one of the cons. Um, and there's no flywheel effect. Like, you know, like if the, the more AI models, sure, this fund could start doing really well, but what's to stop a competitor from getting funds from somewhere else and start subsidizing and, and create an ecosystem that could also produce those returns or even get provided the same model as this entity. There, if I was an AI model um, creator, I could submit it to this as well as someone else. So that element exists. Um, does, this project is more designed around the fund. It cares more about the fund holders than it does about the token holders. At least that's what I'm noticing. Um, and it also depends on the team to do well with all this knowledge, etc. All right, so that is that summary. Final, super simple summary. Low market cap I, with the comp CEO, I put that as a neutral rating. And live niche, I put that as green. All right, uh, next I will give my patron exclusive evaluation. Um, and uh, if you guys like this kind of content, uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video review.